right, family, let's go to the house. Our guest is coming today at three and it's now 12. So in about three hours, I got some stuff from the store yesterday. Um, this was one of the suggestions that I said that uh, the guest before that left. So um, it was mats, mats for the tub, for those who need it. We have a lot of laundry. We go through a lot of towels and linens and the laundry was kind of slow. Um, not slow, but it was a lot. So my cleaner started the laundry but couldn't finish. So basically all I have to go do is fold it and put it away right before the guest comes. I also do have a few other things and I'll show you all, but I have a few other things that I have to put away. So yeah, well, let's go to the house. keep it cozy in here i want the guests to walk in and have this like cozy feel so what i normally do is we have a lot of overhead lights like the uh, recess lighting it's beautiful and it's great for lighting purposes but it can also be harsh at times especially depending on who the guest is i personally love it because it's great lighting especially for what i do but i realize that not everybody likes that the great thing about the light is that it has the switch like the on and off switch but it also has the dimmable switch. See that? You can make it low or you can make it as bright as possible. So see that? I like that a lot. I like to dim it a little bit so it's not as harsh. And then I go ahead and turn on all of the um, lamps to give it that nice warmth. So let's turn on all the lamps. This is the lamp in the primary bedroom. We have two one on each side that way the guest walks in it's nice and cozy it's pretty there we go so for those of you who don't know this is a three bedroom two bath home let's turn on this lamp this is bedroom number two this is the bigger size bedroom each bed has its own nice stand with the lamp on it so that's lamp number one let's move on to this side this is lamp number two I don't think this lamp is plugged. We're having a little technical difficulty. There we go. So the switch was not on. That's why that lamp didn't come on. But yes, these are things I like to come and check. And then I'm just making sure to, uh, you know, clean up the mess I just made. So what I do is I like to turn on the candles while I'm here doing some cleaning. Um, that way when the guest walks in, it already smells amazing in here because the cleaning has been done. It smells and looks amazing. But what I like to do is I just like to turn on the candles while I'm here and doing a few things. That way the guest walks in and it just smells so good. Every room smells different because there's a different candle in there. So let's go ahead and put on these candles. All right, that's for bedroom number one. Let's go put that in there. And then what I have to do is to remember to turn off the candle before I leave. Okay, I'm gonna set it down. Let's go to the next room. There we go. Let's go to the primary. All right, we got that candle. Go ahead and set it here. Let's do the living room. As you can see, a lot of our candles are low because we do burn them a lot. <laughs> I'm a lover of candles and I just, I believe in candles. One last candle for the living room. The key is to remember to turn off all of the candles before I leave. And some way, somehow, I always remember because I have had a fire situation at one of my properties and I just, I don't forget. All right, so now that our candles are going, I'm gonna put the two water here. I always leave two waters for my guests besides all of the other things that I have. I finally have packaged sugar. I think I talked about this in the other video, but not everyone wants to use the sugar that is already in the, um, the container right here. And somebody commented that I should label this sugar. The thing already has a label on it that says sugar. One of them says sugar, the other one says cookie. So I have the um, packaged sugar in here now, so they can use that. And there's two kinds in there, so they can use that if they want. Yeah, when I come back, 
to make sure that the property is really ready for the guests. I try to open everything, any and everything that the guests might have access to, I try to open it to make sure that all is well. So the refrigerator, for example, I open it, make sure that there's no leftover food from the old guests or just to make sure that the cleaners did clean it as well. It's kind of like a wellness check. <laughs> I have to check everything. Check the pantry. Yep, it looks clean in here. Check the dishwasher. Make sure it's emptied out and it's clean. Check the oven, microwave. Make sure that's clean, because that's where they're gonna be putting their food. Just check everything to make sure that it's restocked. So yeah, that's important for me. Again, this is something that the cleaners do, but right now, since I'm still very much involved, also, since I had to come here today to do some stuff to drop off some stuff anyway, I like to do little things like that while I'm already here. So I will be putting these two, the two mats in the tubs. Not everybody liked these, but again, that was a um, suggestion that I got from one of the guests. I was telling you all about a guest that was very communicative. She was telling me, she'll tell me when she leaves the house. She'll tell me when she's back. She'll tell me if she's going for coffee. And she had a lot of suggestions for me. And so that was one of her suggestions. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that. But I realized that not everybody likes that you got to take your your guests um i guess suggestions into consideration let's open this for those of you who don't know what these are these are shower or bath mats they're non-slip um bath mats they're supposed to help you not slip and fall in the bath okay okay i got them both open okay this is what they look like so this bottom part this is the bottom part. This is the part that sticks to the, the floor of the tub. And this is the part that makes it non-slip, non-skit, I should say. <laughs> Let's go put it in the tub. Let's go to bathroom number one. Let's go to bathroom number two. All right, so I'm just gonna fold these uh, few laundry that we got. These are just towels, like hand towels. I'm gonna fold these, put them away so that the, the new guests can have access to them. This is pretty simple. And like I said, I don't mind doing it. And sometimes the cleaners, they'll run out of time before the next guest get here. And if I can run in and do something, at the end of the day, it's my business, right? Um, I can have cleaners, I can have all the people in the world, but at the end of the day, it's my business. And especially because it's a new business, I'm still very sensitive to everything. And so I'm paying attention to all of this. I'm paying attention. I'm making sure that if somebody says X, Y, and Z was done, I want to make sure that it was in fact done. I'm making sure to do it if it's not done, or at least make sure that it gets done. <music> There's mostly towels in here. I have the spare linens in the bedrooms. I will put the hand towels right here and then I'll put these ones right here. So they have so many towels and if they need any more, they can just let us know. But I haven't had an issue where they ran out of towels. As far as the pillowcase, I will put them in here. We have, like I said, we have spare linens in here. So I'll just put this right here. We have spare linens in every room. Every single room has, um, so the queen size bed has more linens if they need it. The, the master, ouch, I almost got my finger. <laughs> the master bedroom has more linens. Um, the twin room has more linens, so yeah. They have everything they would need. So I'm gonna take this basket back down the basement and I'll be back. So what I've realized 
while um, getting the house ready is, I said this in the last video, but um, every guest is different and that's what I'm learning. I've had a few guests so far and I realized that not all guests are the same. Everybody has different needs. Everybody has different concerns and things of that nature. But overall, we have had nothing but great experiences. So that's great. So right before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and change the trash bag in here. Take the little trash out. Cause the last thing you wanna do is have your guests come and there's trash in the trash bin already. That is a pet peeve of mine. I've actually had it happen to me before at a um, hotel. I didn't like that at all. I usually put a whole bunch of bags in there so it's easy to access. Not the whole roll, but just a few so that we're not looking for where the trash bag is. So now that I have everything done, I'm going to go ahead and turn off all of the candles and I'm just cleaning one more time, just wiping off the countertop just in case I left anything on here, wiping it off, making sure everything is fine. And then, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and turn off all of the candles and um, make sure the trash is taken out. Make sure that I'm gonna leave the lamps on. Like I said, I like to create like a homey feeling when the guest comes in here. So we have about an hour before the guest gets here. So I'm okay with leaving the lamps on for them to walk into that warmth. They can decide if they wanna turn it off. They can decide if they want the bright light. They can decide if, they can decide whatever. But the candles, I do turn off. So All right, family, so we are done. The Airbnb is ready for the guests. I'm gonna go home and take a long nap because I'm tired today. That is why I'm wearing glasses. I know a lot of you are wondering. Today is one of those days I'm tired. So I'm gonna go home, take a breather. Make sure to comment your favorite part, like the video. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below. I love you all. Now see you all in my next one. Bye.